Good evening. I'm Laura Crandall, Director of the Physical Therapist Assistant Program, and on behalf of the graduating class of 2020, I would like to thank you all for celebrating with us tonight. Before we begin tonight's ceremony, Kristen Chakral, graduate of the class of 2020, will give our invocation. Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us to come together to celebrate this achievement. Thank you for giving us this academic opportunity and inspire us to put all of the knowledge, skills, and life lessons we have gained to good use. Please bless our families, fellow classmates, and professors for their constant support and guidance over the past two years. Continue to bless us and guide us as we embark on this journey as physical therapist assistants. In Jesus' name, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Victoria College Physical Therapist Assistant Pinning Ceremony for the graduates of spring 2020 semester. My name is Darla Strother. I'm Dean of Allied Health. And um, this pinning ceremony is a little unconventional in that we have a important, some important individuals that are missing. So I would like to acknowledge and thank them at this time. First, I would like to thank the Victoria College Board of Trustees for their unwavering support. They work behind the scenes to guarantee that all Victoria College students receive a quality education. Second, I would like to thank the Victoria College administration for their staunch commitment to the students. On a daily basis, these individuals make decisions that positively impact the student population. Third, I would like to thank the Physical Therapist Assistant Program, including the administrative assistant, the full-time professors, as well as the adjunct faculty. These individuals have worked tireless, tireless, excuse me, tirelessly to meet the students' needs. They are truly a dedicated, dedicated team of professionals. Next, I would like to thank the graduates, families, and their friends, and any individuals that supported them as they made their way through each semester. PTA school is difficult, and I know that your love, your kind words, and faith in them provided them with the encouragement that they needed. Last but not least, I want to thank the graduates. Some of the graduates could not be here this evening. Nonetheless, I want to thank all for their long hours of study, your perseverance when things got difficult, and I'd like to say to you, you did it, you made it, and we are very proud of you. Congratulations to you all. So graduates, family members, and friends, it's an honor to be a part of this celebration today and a joy to, sell, to be a part of this incredible moment. Congratulations again to all of the 2020 graduates and congratulations as um, our Dean said goes also to all of the family members um, for helping them reach their goals. The faculty would like to thank you all for, your, for their love and support, um, getting these students through to uh, their goal. So they have made it through, but how did they make it and what exactly have they achieved? PTAs help restore function, improve mobility, relieve pain, and prevent or limit disabilities of patients suffering from injuries or diseases. They will provide services for people both from birth to death, anywhere from neonatal intensive care through hospice care. They will provide care in di many different types of settings, including hospitals, private practices, outpatient clinics, 
home health, nursing homes, schools, sports facilities, and more. The responsibility of these young people embarking on this career is immense. They are charged with providing a quality of care that is not only safe, legal, and ethical, but above all, compassionate. So how did they get to this moment? With a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work. In order to help them stay balanced, we would counsel these students to treat this like a job. So they would be here from 8 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock in the evening. And so they would have class in the morning, they would stay, and they would study and practice for about four or five hours in the afternoon. So if they just followed that, they would be spending 25 extra hours a week outside of class to study and practice. The reality is, however, and you all, I'm sure you'll be shaking your heads as I say this, they put closer into more like 30 to 40 hours per week extra outside of class in order to study and practice and prepare for this profession. They also, however, serve the community in many ways. They helped at the VISD Special Olympics, the VISD Youth Athletes Program, and Crossroads Heart and Stroke Walk, just to name a few things. In addition, they participated in many activities here on campus. The Public Service and Healthcare Showcase <clears throat> event, the PTA information sessions, health career exploration and observation days event. They also organized and participated in fundraising events throughout their time with us to raise money to attend the t annual Texas Physical Therapy Conference. And we had a great time when we were all there at that conference. These students have been busy, very busy for the last two years. Now achieving all of these accomplishments would normally be outstanding. However, this class achieved these things while facing some outside forces way beyond their control. This class faced a pandemic the last semester in the program and are still facing it today. This prevented the completion of their last six-week clinical rotation in the spring. Some of our students are parents and had to homeschool their children during this time. Many of our graduates' families experienced job loss and financial stress during this pandemic. These graduates were not able to experience a graduation ceremony or any type of typical celebration for their accomplishments when they were ready to take their national licensing exam this last July, some were in jeopardy of being denied a slot to test due to testing facilities being shut down. In addition, there are graduates in this class that during this program faced a loss of a significant loved one in their family, experienced significant health issues, and had financial hardships as well as other setbacks along the way. Despite all of this, and this is what makes us as a faculty so proud of you, despite all of this, 100% of these graduates passed their licensing exam in July, and we even had a perfect score. So we are, this pinning ceremony is, is so unique because sitting before us right now are actually licensed physical therapist assistants who are ready and able to practice. I know I can speak for the faculty when I say it was a pleasure watching these students grow in their chosen profession, but it was a privilege, privilege, witnessing the character, the dedication, and the compassion of these young people. Ladies and gentlemen, you should be so proud of your graduates sitting here today. I know we are. It is with a great amount of pleasure and pride that we congratulate the PTA class of 2020. So each year, our program presents three awards to our graduating class. The first award, do you want to come up, please?
The first award is the Academic Award, and this award is presented to the student who has the highest GPA in our program of study. This graduate achieved a 3.98 GPA in our program of study, and this award goes to Kristen Chakram, PTA. Congratulations. The next award is the Leadership Award. And this award goes to the student who has shown the most leadership qualities throughout the entire two years in the program. The American Physical Therapy Association cites seven core values that are important to possess as a professional in the field of physical therapy. These core values are accountability, altruism, compassion, excellence, integrity, professional duty, and social responsibility. This year we have one student who we believe has shown the most growth in these areas and has exhibited these qualities consistently throughout the last two years. The student has gone above and beyond regular coursework to organize fundraisers, promote professional membership, and be an advocate for their class. This student has also consistently volunteered for any project or event associated with our PTA program for the last two years and is always available to help when asked with a gracious and positive attitude. This year, the Leadership Award goes to Lauren Rollins, PTA. Smile in her eyes, right? <laughs> All right. The last award that we give out is to the student who has been the most inspirational in the last two years. The recipient of this award is chosen by the class and not by the faculty. It goes to the student who has struggled through adversity yet remain positive and determined to reach their educational goal of becoming a PTA. The student who has been selected has persevered through many unforeseen and difficult circumstances. A few classmates wrote this description of this person. Has a very giving heart and always had encouraging words even during tough times in life. Went through a lot of personal challenges throughout the program, but still remained focused and put forth their best effort. Regardless of the tribulations that were faced, this person was always willing to help out and be there when you needed them. The most inspirational award for the class of 2020 goes to LaShonda Hopkins. I would now like to introduce this year's class representatives, Lauren Rollins and Serenity Venglar, who would like to say a few words. We would like to speak on behalf of the class of 2020. While we all know it has been a long two-year journey with numerous bumps in the road that each of us met with varying speeds, the past two years have also molded us into the licensed physical therapist assistants that we stand here as today. 
While the stress of gaining our degree and license may be behind us, we all have a long road ahead of us in our chosen career paths. We would like to say that through the journey ahead of each of us, if any are to lose faith or motivation, all we must do is reach out to one another, as this program has allowed us to create bonds with each other that will last a lifetime. We have all undergone tremendous stress and personal struggles. However, we have done so together and have ended each trial with friendship and laughter. This may arguably be the biggest gift of the program, to face greater stress than many of us ever thought we could and to come out on the other side of it as stronger and more confident individuals. We all appreciate wonderful professors who have imparted their wisdom and clinical knowledge on us, our clinical instructors who helped us gain confidence in treating patients and all who have supported our fundraisers that enabled us to attend conference and gain insight into the physical therapy community. So thank you. Thank you to each pillar of support and layer of our foundations. It is with your help that we are all able to stand here with a license already well on our way to a promising future. Rachel Chaka. Rachel would like to thank the following to her family and friends. Thank you for your support and understanding for without your help and faith in her, she could not have achieved this goal. To her classmates, it has been a long and hard two year journey. Thank you for all of the many laughs and encouraging words. Wishing you all great success. To her instructors, thank you for always pushing her to be better and believing in her. Trey Claybrook. Trey would like to thank his family for the support that they have provided him throughout the program. He always also wants to thank his classmates for being a support throughout the challenging times. Lastly, he wants to thank his awesome instructors for their time, confidence, and knowledge they instilled in him. Kaylin Dworski. Kaylin would like to thank her family for supporting her through this journey and also her professors and classmates for sharing knowledge and great memories over the past two years. Kaylin is currently working PRN at a nursing home in Gonzales. Chelsea Hernandez. Chelsea is unable to be here with us this evening due to a family emergency, but she would like to thank her family, her boyfriend, and friends for their never-ending support and prayers, as well as God who always listened. Chelsea resides in Victoria and is currently working PRN at Bethany Senior Living. LaShonda Hopkins. LaShonda would like to thank her family for constantly giving her words of encouragement and reminding her to have faith in herself. Your words, you are smarter than you think, never got old because it gave her motivation and guided her throughout this journey to success. She's currently working at a nursing home in Goliad and plans to further her education to receive a bachelor's degree in kinesiology. Amanda Martinez. Amanda would like to thank her family and friends for all their support during the PTA program. She would like to thank her parents for being there for her and always supporting her. Additionally, her boyfriend, Michael, 
who was always there to encourage her and never let her give up. Lastly, her two boys, Mason and Max, who motivated her to accomplish her dream of being a PTA. Juliet Ramos. Juliet wants to thank her husband, Ramiko. This would not have been possible without him. She wants to thank her boys, Rico, Rupert, and Romeo, for being so understanding. She knows her family made a lot of sacrifices. Also, she wants to thank her mom, dad, sisters, brothers, and mother-in-law for all their support. Finally, she wants to thank Dr. Crandall and Dr. Mick for not giving up on her. Rogelio Razo. Rogelio would like to thank all of his professors and the Key Center for all of their support and helping him along the way through his journey. The real Lauren Rollins. Lauren would like to thank the following people for helping her through the program. Her parents for all the love and support and especially helping her move halfway across the state in order for her to pursue a career in therapy. Dr. Mick, Dr. Crandall, and Ms. Garcia for continuing to push her to be the best student and therapist she can be. Her classmates for always looking out for one another and picking each other up when needed and becoming lifelong friends. And to all the friends she'd met in this town, Lauren is currently employed at Fredericksburg Nursing and Rehab. She is interested in furthering her education by completing the PTA to DPT program in two years. Um, and for right now, she is enjoying being a PTA. Kristen Schockel. Kristen would like to thank her wonderful parents, family, and fiance for their never ending encouragement and support over the past two years. She would also like to thank her amazing professors and fellow classmates for pushing her to work hard and for putting up with her constant whimsical behaviors. She plans to continue her work as a PTA and hopes to be a positive impact on all patients that she works with. Serenity Venglar. Serenity would like to thank her family for their support throughout her journey to become a PTA. The love and laughter were instrumental in her continued motivation and success. She would also like to thank her family classmates as their friendship helped to make even the most stressful moments manageable. As for her professors or anxiety inducers, she would like to share her appreciation for their high expectations as well as for the foundation they helped her build. With the foundation they helped her garner, she knows she is well prepared to succeed in her future plans to continue towards her doctorate in physical therapy. <clears throat> Graduates, by accepting your pen this evening, you're affirming your commitment to your patients. Never let that be far from your heart or your mind. Go in confidence that this time that you spent being prepared or preparing yourself for your profession has prepared you for any circumstance. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our pinning ceremony. However, before you exit, I would like to inform you that the PTA class historian has put together a short video presentation for the graduates and their families to enjoy. The PTA students have spent many hours together during the past two years, and even though they were studying and learning, they were also having fun. This video gives you a small window into your, what your graduate was doing for the last two years. I want to thank everyone for joining us. And so we'll, we'll roll that video.